بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وبه نستعين إنه خير ناصر ومعين Dear brothers and sisters, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. I hope you're okay and doing well. Peace, security, and respect. We are all familiar with these words because they are truly essential for a society to thrive and grow stronger. As a member of a society, we also need them, but they are the direct result of unity. In other words, the member of a society must get together and be united in order to create an ideal society. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, wa'tasimu bihablillahi jami'an wa la tafarraku. Hold firmly to the rope of Allah and don't get divided. According to the ayah, we must all emphasize on our similarities rather than the differences. The ayah says, the rope of Allah, hablullah, but what's the meaning of this word? I think it means the things, the factors, the items that get us together and bind us around ourselves like a rope. What are the examples of this so-called rope of Allah? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala himself is the very first thing that get us together. We all believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, whether we are Shia or Sunni. We all believe in the holy book of Quran, which is sent by Allah and revealed by the holy prophet of Islam, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. And we all believe in the same Qibla. We pray five times a day toward Kaaba within the holy city of Mecca, and it's something obligatory for all Muslims. So the first point is to consider our similarities as they are like a rope that get us together. There is another ayah, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, Allah wa Rasulahu wa la tanaza'u fatafshilu wa tadhhaba rihakum. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Obey Allah and His Messenger and do not dispute or you would be discouraged and weakened. The point is about the dispute in this ayah. Look around you. Right now, we have about 2 billion Muslims all around the world. But think about the geopolitical situation of the world. Do we have any say at international level? I don't think so. Because we are all busy to dispute about minor things, minor differences that we have within the Islamic society. The enemy wants us to be divided. The enemy wants us to have this dispute and be busy with these little differences that we have. The ayah says, Wala tanazau. This tanazu, this dispute makes you weak, makes you discouraged to pursue your ideals to reach that ultimate goal, which is the ideal society. Dear brothers and sisters, I hope that we all emphasize and hold on to the rope of Allah and emphasize on our similarities rather than the differences and do not dispute over some minor things because we all have these similarities. Whenever you want to have this dispute with some person from another branch of Islam, ju just think about the similarities that we have. We have Allah, we have the holy book of the Quran, and we have the same Qibla. Consider Quran. We believe that Quran throughout the history, these 14 centuries, there wasn't any verses that changes throughout these 14 centuries. It's a very important thing to consider. Because when it comes to Bible, there are a lot of, maybe hundreds of versions for Bible. Yet they are united. Yet they all emphasize on being Christian. Dear brothers and sisters, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us intercession with 14 infallibles. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.